Welcome to Organism of the Month at the Bean Museum. Today we'll be talking about the praying mantis, one of the most iconic insect predators. The name praying mantis, or mantis religiosa, refers to the way their front legs are folded, seemingly in prayer, praying for their next meal, perhaps. These front legs are incredible weapons. They are heavily modified for catching prey, although they can still be used for walking. This modification means mantises have raptorial appendages. With its hinged, spiked front legs, lightning-fast reflexes, and a narrow head that can turn 180 degrees to look at you with compound eyes, the mantis is one of the most intimidating insects on Earth. There are over 2,400 mantis species, and they range in size from half an inch up to six inches. While they might not be hulking, they are very hungry. Voracious mantises eat not only other insects, but also spiders, small birds, and amphibians. They really turn the tables on vertebrates like frogs that are used to being the ones eating the insects. Mantises are okay in a wide range of habitats. It can be found in the tropical rainforests, hot deserts, high in the forest canopy, and between stalks of grass. Different species living in these places will change their color and modify their shape to camouflage themselves and avoid detection. Mantises can fly to escape predators, but it's wobbly and slow compared to other insects. This guy seems to have found a better means of transportation. Mantises are really patient, waiting for prey to come close, but they often don't have long to wait before their food comes to them. Remember how mantises can change their shape and color to blend in? Many species go further than hiding from predators and camouflage themselves to look like flowers. When a pollinator visits to sip some nectar, then the mantis lunges to catch the bee or butterfly that comes too close. Once a mantis has caught its prey, it starts eating right away, cutting in with powerful shearing jaws. Sometimes the females get carried away and turn these dangerous mandibles on the males, eating them before, after, and occasionally during mating. But as disgusting as this may seem, the extra calories for mom means bigger and healthier eggs, and a much better chance of survival for the baby mantids. Still, I'm glad I'm not a male mantis. The female lays eggs in a foamy substance and sticks it to a plant stem. The foam hardens to form a spongy case called an ootheca. The eggs inside are protected from winter cold, and the baby mantids hatch in the spring. Some gardeners try to take advantage of these young insect predators and will buy mantis egg cases so the growing mantids will hatch and eat pests like aphids in the garden. A much cleaner solution than gallons of pesticides. If you think the praying mantis is pretty cool, and you should, come into the museum and you can snatch an Organism of the Month bio card by talking to a museum educator. On our website, you can find the mantis coloring page, and if you print it, color it, and bring it in, you have a chance to win a prize. No need to eat any insects. That's it for today. We'll see you all next month.